Rent is the highest monthly expense we all face. Rent should be around 30 to 40% of your income. If you live in cities like Miami, New York, and Los Angeles, it is probably way more than that. And the worst thing is that you get absolutely no benefits for paying this amount of money until today. I've gotten a lot of questions about the Built Rewards card, so I decided to just get it, try it out, and make a video about it. I'll give you guys the benefits, what the catch or catches are, and my personal recommendation whether you should get the card or not so let's get it the first one and most basic one i'll say is that it has no annual fee which is huge these cards have little downside if you're responsible with your finances because they're completely free and they still have benefits but the big one which is probably why you clicked on this video is that this card actually gives you points when you pay your rent with it and they don't charge you the classic three percent transaction fee that you get charged if you pay your rent with a credit card build actually gives you two options to pay your rent you can either do what i do and pay through your online portal all you have to do is input your routing number and your account number just like if it was a checkings account just in this case you're getting points and it's charged to your credit card or if you have a more old school landlord you can also send a check which is pretty cool it'll get delivered between five to seven business days and it'll still get charged to your card so once you've done this you're gonna receive one point for every one dollar spent which is pretty good given that you're not receiving anything today the only catch here is that you can only redeem fifty thousand points per year when it comes to rent now, your rent has to be a little over $4,000 for you to reach this limit. So you're not really missing out unless you're paying more than $4,000 in rent, which in that case, rip you. <laughs> so overall, by itself, given that the card is free, this benefit would have already been a selling point for me but this card also has other benefits such as two points for every one dollar spent on travel and they also have two pretty cool benefits which is that if you have to cancel a flight and the airline does not offer reimbursement they actually have up to a five thousand dollar protection so you get your money back all the time and in case of delays of more than six hours they cover all of your expenses for those six hours so if you want to get a meal water they cover all of that, which is pretty massive. They also offer three points for every $1 spent on dining. And this one is absolutely crazy because it's just one point less than the American Express Gold, which is my favorite card. But this card is $250 cheaper per year. So I was actually pretty surprised when I found out about this benefit. I personally won't be using it because I have the Amex Gold, but I wish I would have had this as my first card when I was in college because I would have racked up a lot of points on on dining overall this card seems too good to be true but i did find some drawbacks that we have to cover in this video So I think there are three main cons to this card. The first one we already covered, and that's that there's a limit to how many points you can earn through rent, which is 50,000 points. This is still a large amount, but it would be nice if the card would let you earn unlimited amounts of points. Second, this card unfortunately does not have an introductory offer. As many of you guys know, Amex, Chase, and all these famous brands have introductory offers where they offer an insane amount of points if you spend a certain amount of money in the first few months of having the card built has decided not to do this and so you don't have any incentive to really charge money to the card early on so that's something that they can definitely improve in the future to get more customers and lastly this is the catch which is not really a catch it's just a little annoying and that's the fact that in order to get the rent points you have to make five transactions per month with the card so you can't do what i wanted to do which is to just get the card to pay for rent so what I'm doing to battle that is that I got five of my subscriptions and I put them in this card. So every month I have those five transactions happening automatically without me having to think about it. And I qualify for the points when I pay rent. So I'd say that's the one annoying part of the card. If you only want to use it for rent, well, you can always put subscriptions there and you can forget about the card. So now for my personal non-professional recommendation and my reasoning as to why I got it. If I'm gonna pay rent, I might as well get rewarded for it. That's one. Second, it's completely free. So there's really no drawback as long as you pay it every month, which I know I will. And third, I can automate everything. Automating my finances is very important to me. So it was important that I could just have it pay my rent and forget about it. Also, it's good to start building credit. And if you don't want to pay $250 per year for the Amex Gold 
or maybe you don't qualify for the Amex Gold just yet, it's definitely a good way to start. So taking all of this into account, I think it was definitely worth it for me. And I think it would be worth it for a lot of people. And if you agree with that and want to get the card and want to support your boy Barn, I'm going to leave the referral code down below so you can get the card. And hopefully you like it and you get a lot of benefits from it. If you like this video, subscribe, drop a like and leave a comment if you have any other cards that you want me to review. Peace.